Hey guys, welcome on back to another episode on Chefs of Anime. My name is Vince, and today we are going to be making another fantastic recipe by the critically acclaimed Final Fantasy Cookbook. One of the recipes we're gonna be looking at in the book is gonna be the Sky Builders Stew, which honestly looks like a fantastic hearty meal, really good for cold weather. Now, if you remember where this recipe comes from, this recipe basically comes from the Ishgardian Restoration. For those who don't know, Ishgardian Restoration was essentially a way for a lot of people who never did crafting to kind of get all their crafting skills up to max level before new content came out. Everybody was trying to get their crafting up and lots of people were doing all these weird little mini games of getting presents to kids and dressing up like animals and it was really fun and exciting time. But I'm really excited that I can actually make one of the crafting culinary recipes from the game itself. Before we begin, we've got our little Moogle here in the side and they have something to say about this whole entire recipe. The, um, Okay, uh, we'll start that over. Three, two, one. I may be a Moogle, but I'm not very good at mending things. The nice people at the firmament saw me wander with Gohan and asked if I could help with the repairs, but I'm pretty hopeless when it comes to that stuff. They asked if I could at least serve soup for the workers, but I'm not sure I did a such a good job with that either, Kupo. But everyone left with a smile and the soup was quite tasty. So enjoy. Well, I can't wait. As we assemble our ingredients for the Sky Builder stew, the equipment you're gonna need is a large pot with a lid, a spatula, a medium saucepan, and a whisk. In the stew itself, you're gonna need about a pound or 500 grams of chicken thighs, which we'll cut into bite-sized pieces. Then you're gonna need some salt and pepper mix, olive oil, three cloves of garlic, bay leaves, and then an assortment of vegetables, onions, russet potato, broccoli, carrot, and then also a daikon radish. These do not have to be peeled, but if you want to, you can go ahead. I also went ahead and froze the onion ahead of time, so it wouldn't make me cry as I cut it. And not on screen, you're gonna make sure that you're gonna have a cream base with this soup, which is kind of a surprise for the Sky Builder stew, which is gonna include butter, cream cheese, flour, and milk. So, let's get cutting. As we start to prepare our Sky Builder stew, we're gonna need a pound of chicken thighs. Now it says to go ahead and cut them into bite-sized pieces, so however small you want is uh, basically up to you, just as long as they're good enough for you to chew on. And once you go ahead and cut those, you wanna make sure that you generously sprinkle in some salt and pepper. And you give that a little bit of a mix. And we'll go ahead and move on to our vegetables. Make sure you clean your cutting board before you do so. When looking at our vegetables, you're gonna notice that we have five particularly nice vegetables. We have half an onion. We have a daikon radish, which is about 135 grams. We have a carrot, which is about 75 grams. A medium russet potato, 200 grams. And broccoli, about half a cup, 85 grams. We're looking at the cloves, so you got three. So let's go ahead and smash these open. The recipe does say minced, so go ahead, group them together. Let's get to mincing. I also wanna give a huge shout out to Walking Dog Music who have provided DMCA free and copyright free music for this video. Out of the vegetables, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and make sure you have the onion cut first because you're gonna be mixing that into a high boiling pot of water with your garlic. So let's go ahead and cut this open. Your onion, you're gonna make sure you cut into bite-sized pieces as well. All right, these look bite-sized to me. So let's go ahead and uh, get this all set up with the garlic into a boiling pot of water. Earlier I said you needed a boiling pot of water well, turns out I was mistaken. Actually, you just need a pot to boil everything in it um, and then to kind of cook it a little bit later. So let me go ahead and turn this on. Woo, that's hot. We'll put that low for right now. And then what we're gonna need is to go ahead and grab the chicken, oil, onion, and garlic. So put a little bit of the oil in there first. Next, we're gonna go ahead and put the garlic in there and the onion. Now what I like to do first is to go ahead and put these 
these items in so we can get the onions a little translucent, the garlic cooked nicely. And we're gonna stir that around. So we're gonna make sure it's at medium heat. And this should take about five minutes to go ahead and cook. You're gonna wanna have the onions a nice translucent color. And if you get a little bit of browning on the garlic, fantastic. So we'll let this go for about five minutes. After time has passed, you're gonna get this nice little bit of golden brown color that has the garlic nice and browning. And then we also have the translucent onion. After that, we can go ahead and grab our chicken thighs and then place them in the pot so those can cook too. And here you're gonna go ahead and cook this for about five to seven minutes. And we'll put this on the side in low heat. Give it a quick little stir every now and then until the chicken thighs are completely cooked through. So as you're waiting for your meat to cook with your onions and garlic, this would be a great time to go ahead and cut the rest of the vegetables. So your daikon radish does not have to be peeled at all. So that's totally fine as long as it's scrubbed down, which I went ahead and did. So depends on how you like it. You can do your pieces any way you want. You can make them bite-sized, you can do halves, you can do quarters, completely up to you. I like the aesthetic of having maybe full circles or half circles. And I'm gonna go ahead and keep the skin on just because the carrots and the potatoes are gonna probably follow the same soup. And now for the carrot. And finally, the potato, which I'm probably gonna go ahead and dice up. And your vegetable mix should look about like this, minus the broccoli. We're gonna add that a little bit later. So give your vegetables a nice little bit of a mix up and make sure none of them escape because this is going to be really good. Now I let my cooked chicken thighs with onion and garlic sit for about five to seven minutes to make sure that the chicken thighs were no longer pink. So let's take a quick look at it. Oh, that's looking fantastic. Put the heat down just a little bit. You can kind of see this awesome stew starting to come together we have the broken down translucent onions and garlic mixed with this nice meaty fatty thighs and what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and add the chicken stock to it after we go ahead and put our vegetables in so we'll put all these vegetables in You'll want to go ahead and mix this up a bit, make sure it incorporates nicely. Then after you get that all nicely put together, you're going to want to put chicken stock that gets to about just a little bit over of what you have. So what that means is that as I put this in, if there's enough chicken stock, I went ahead and put two and a half cups because it says two to three. And I thought I was going to be a little bit generous with my meat and vegetables. So this looks to be about the a pretty good amount of chicken stock. I went ahead and used low sodium chicken stock because it told me to go ahead and generously coat the chicken thighs with salt and pepper. So I thought it might be a good idea to pull back on the sodium in the chicken stock. And if you want it a little bit saltier, you can always add some more later. So let that incorporate a little bit. And the best part comes next, so we're gonna let this sit for about 20 minutes. Put the lid on and walk away. The next part of the Sky Builder stew calls for a cream base, which honestly, I was kind of surprised to know that it actually had a cream base, which would make sense why it's so thick and rich. So we're gonna need a small pot or a medium saucepan, whatever you have that's lying around. And you're gonna go ahead and while the stock is simmering with the other part of the Sky Builder stew, you're gonna go ahead and make the cream base with melted butter and cream cheese. So we'll let this go. 
into here. We'll let that heat up a little bit. And you use a spatula to kind of help separate that and then mix that in a little bit. You want to make sure that the heat isn't too high so you don't brown the butter, but you also want to make sure it's hot enough so everything melts down. So it kind of looks like that. And as you get it to this nice little bit of a consistency here, you're going to add flour, which you're going to lightly whisk into the mixture. And you want to make sure you slowly do it so it doesn't have a lot of clumping. And what's going to happen is that it's going to thicken up a bit. And that's okay. It's going to kind of be this weird thing like uh, it might remind you a little bit of bread as it says. And it might start to even smell like it too. Which right now, if you could smell it, whew, it does smell like bread. And you can kind of see this consistency. It's getting really, really thick. Like that. I was just going to take it off the heat just a little bit, just so I can incorporate it a little bit nicer. And weirdly enough, it's starting to clump up like bread or dough. And so this is about three minutes. I'm mixing everything in together. And you want to slowly add in milk into the mixture, not too much, because you want to slowly incorporate it. And so as you can see, the milk has been completely absorbed by the flour, cream cheese, and butter. Looks good. We'll do it again. And sure enough, you'll start to get this creamy texture. And now you can kind of see it completely thicken up. And as soon as you get to about this state, you can go ahead, turn off the heat and pull it to the side. After you finish your cream base, go ahead and grab that bay leaf we had on the side, throw it in the stew. At this time, your stew should be simmering and then uh, to a nice about medium, medium low heat. Let that go for the rest of the time, remember about 20 minutes, and then we'll kind of put it all together. As our Sky Builder stew is boiling, we're gonna make sure that it comes to a nice heat and a little bit of that bubbling in that boil. At this time, it should be about medium to low heat. And when you put the broccoli in, make sure you stir that up. And then the recipe calls for you to bring up the heat to about medium, medium high. And let that boil and the broccoli will be cooking for about three to five minutes. After it's been three to five minutes and your broccoli has been broken down a bit, you're gonna wanna pull that out, waft it in. That smells really, really good. This is looking fantastic. You're gonna grab your cream base mixture and you're gonna pour in the cream mixture and go ahead and stir it until fully incorporated. Oh, now we get that creamy white color. And this is really starting to look like a stew. We'll let that go ahead and heat just for about another two to three minutes. If you want to add some more pepper and salt, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, but you want to make sure you go ahead and pull the bay leaves out just right before serving. So let that go ahead and simmer in there with them just a little bit longer. Well guys, there you have it, the Sky Builder Stew. And honestly, it looks fantastic. It's a little bit different compared to what the recipe showed. If you take a look here in the book, you'll notice that it's a little bit like, probably a little bit more chicken broth was added to it. A little bit less um, cream base. Cause right now I see this really creamy, rich, 
kind of color to it. I'm really, really excited to see what this tastes like. I added a little bit of um, crisper vegetables up on top for a garnish, just a little bit steamed, just so that I can kind of maybe get the little crispiness out of it, if I just wanted that kind of crunch into it. But uh, I'm gonna put that to the side, and I'm just gonna go right into the stew itself. It's really, really hot, so I had to give it like five minutes uh, before I decided to go ahead and pull it out. Uh, it's just it's just really intense. It smells really, really great. I don't even really know how to explain it. The cream made it have like a interesting sweet smell, probably because of the cream cheese. But uh, let's let's see what this tastes like. Oh my goodness, that is really good. Wow. I'm really surprised. The, the, the pepper shines through a little bit. If you sprinkle some up on top, it's this interesting creamy texture that I've, I'm not used to in a stew. Usually stews have like a, like a, like a, a watery beef broth and I've never had like a chicken thigh stew essentially. It almost tastes like, um, if you guys ever had a pot pie before, that's what it tastes like. It tastes like a, a pot pie and like, not even like clam chowder, but like the consistency of it mixed together. This is really good for like, um, like, like when it's winter or you're just coming back home from a long day at work and you want something really nice and comforting. This is definitely comfort food. I'm definitely eating this for dinner. So guys, thank you so much for coming on in. I would say that this, this rings up pretty high. I would give this maybe an 8.5 out of 10 maybe maybe a nine you can you can thin it out if you want with some more chicken broth you can make it even more rich and thicker with some more of that cream base we saw a little bit earlier but other than that that basically wraps up for this episode of chefs of anime so whether you're crafting an Ishgard, going out and raiding on the most recent content, please do not forget to go ahead and subscribe to the big red button. Make sure you like us with a tip and then go ahead and click the bell just so when you know the next video is up. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for coming on in today. Really appreciate you kind of spending the time here with me and man, I'm just going to keep eating this. Uh, till we see you again, I'm Vince on Chefs of Anime and we'll see you later. Oh, good.